Hey everybody, it's me again. I just wanted to record a video, very brief one, um, for my fellow uh, widows and widowers. I recently um, was at my local market and for all of you that know my story, um, this is year seven since my husband passed away suddenly. Um, so now I'm a, you know, a single parent doing, doing it all, you know, and while I was at the market, I was like, oh my God, I was kind of confused, which is odd. Um, for me, uh, this road as a widow, this journey as a widow, um, works better for me if I have schedules everything has to be planned it just works better for me that way so like i said i was at the market and i was looking for some nutritional yeast and you know the market they had rearranged their product to integrate them with other items so for a vegan like myself it was kind of like Okay, I liked everything the way it was. They had all of, you know, the health and nutritional um, and vegetarian, vegan foods all in one area, right? All I had to do was just go there, do my shopping in that particular area, leave, you know, go get other items from other parts of the store. Now, in that moment, I got so frustrated. Now, um, why? I Just because I can find it. So I tapped a, one of the store associates and asked if they knew and um, she didn't know. She had an idea. But um, when I followed up on what she said to go, it wasn't there either. So I'm walking down the aisles and I'm, I'm sure I had this look on my face as of um, I guess confusion. I don't think I did. I think my spirit was just kind of like trying to calm me down and so you know the spirit just sent another associate and um the, the, the store associate was like did you find everything and i was like well and you know i'm not t the type of person that complains so i just thought i was like well i can't find nutritional yeast and so he was like oh i know what that is stay right here so he goes and get it right so when he comes back and he was like, wow, he, you know, he uses it. And I was like, well, yeah, I use it a lot and things like that. And, um, so he was telling me, I was telling him how I use it. Cause I love it like on my kale and just that buttery taste when I, you know, in absence of, you know, dairy products. So <clears throat> he was telling me, uh, he was an older gentleman and he was just telling me about, oh, so you like kale? Do you like colors and things like that? And so I said, yeah, I do. So he was like, you should just grow your own. Because I was telling him also, I was like, you guys didn't have any kale. He was like, you should just grow your own. Now, I was like, no, I just really can't do that. He said, why can't you do it? And I was like, I just, I guess because I'm just too lazy. I wouldn't do anything like that. And he was like, do you have any men in your in your immediate family that can help you till the soil? I said, well, I have a 7 and 11 year old son. I said, my husband was still you know, here he would do it. And of course he offered his uh, condolences immediately, which I, you know, I appreciate. And, um, he walked me through the steps verbally. He would just tell me what to do and how to go and where to actually go by, um, the seeds. And he was like, it's crazy simple and what have you. And he made this comment. And this is why I wanted to post this before I laid down tonight is that, you know, don't say you're lazy. And I was like, hmm. He was like, you just said. I was like, yeah, I guess I did, you know. He said, because you're not. He said, you're a widow with how many children do you have? So I told him four. And he was like, you're definitely not, not lazy. He was like, you're in here doing after business hours. So probably you've been to work and you're here grocery shopping. And you're going to probably go home and cook. And I was like, well, yeah, yeah, kind of, sort of. And he was like, you're not lazy. You're outstanding. You're absolutely amazing. And you keep doing what you're doing. And you look good doing it. So I was like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So I left. And the reason I wanted to share this with you, because when I couldn't find 
that ingredient, that uh, nutritional yeast, when it wasn't where I wanted it to be, in that moment, it was wreaking havoc on the inside of me to the point where I described myself as lazy and casual conversation. And I'm not. And I had to do a lot of stuff reflecting because this journey as a widow is difficult, but yet is very rewarding. I have four amazing children. My daughter is in college doing well, calling me rarely, but that's for another video. And um, I have, you know, four amazing children, uh, one in high school um, who's adjusting, you know, and my two sons who's adjusting, you know, and me adjusting. So this quick video is to tell each and every one of you when things seem out of place and out of order. Don't let that disturb you. Don't let that ruffle your spirit. Quickly acknowledge it. Say, okay, it's not where it's supposed to be. But that's okay. Because if things were, were exactly what they're supposed to be, my husband would be right here with me if I had to write it, right? But in divine order and in divine timing, everything always works out. Okay? So, just a tidbit. You guys, and you ladies, my loves, my widows and widowers, you are doing the best that you can do. And then some. Okay? So don't be hard on yourself. Forgive yourself. Give yourself patience. And when that emotion or that feeling of confusion, acknowledge it and then diffuse it. Just mm -mm, I'm not doing that because I'm doing the best that I can do. And that is all that the universe asks that you to do. All right. You're the best. This journey, like I say all the time, it gets better. And, you know, I'm so grateful that the universe that God sent that second clerk to me and just recall to me, it's like, you're not lazy. You're not. And I'm not. I work hard. I live. I love. I laugh. And I want each and every one of you guys to do the same thing. Find your joy. Find your peace. Be patient with yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. Okay. I had to just send my seven-year-old off to bed because he wanted to get in my YouTube video. He really wants to get in one of these videos. So I'm actually let him peek his, peep his head in once. But um, you guys are doing a great job. When I say you guys, you know what I mean. You ladies too. My divas, I love you guys. All of you. All right. Good night. I'm going to call it a night. Got to take the 16-year-old to get her nails done. You know, high school girls. All right. Love you guys. And remember this moment will become yesterday, yesterday, two weeks from now, two weeks from now, a month from now, um, and shoot, then before long, that incident will become years from now, all right, you yeah, just got to keep moving, all right, bye.